summertime party season is in full swing. Right. You like to have a good time. Yeah, sure. I do too. We yeah. all do. Um, but when we are hosting a party, what is our responsibility if someone is injured at our home? And this is a great topic because right. we have 4th of July in mm -hmm. just a few short weeks and we all love to entertain on the 4th. I've, I've, I've got a case right now that happened last 4th of July. Really? Happened over in Mississippi. Absolutely horrific, horrible injury oh. that happened to someone that was, you know, there to have a good time. and. Um, it was a, 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 absolutely no alcohol involved in this case, um, but this person was horribly, horribly injured, and things like that unfortunately do happen. So if you're going to host a party, um, you don't have to be, you know, like as diligent as say a grocery store or a restaurant and things of that nature as far as, you know, making sure that everything is safe. And, and stores, they have to do that because they're getting benefit from you being there. You're there to spend money, and so therefore, the, the duty for them is much greater for them to make sure that all the customers and patrons are safe and make sure that, you know, that, that's why they walk around and look and, you know, make sure that everything's off the, the floor and things of that nature. As a homeowner, you're not held to that same standard, but you still have to make sure that they know of problems that you know about. And you see their common home and, uh, injury cases or causes tripping on loose rug, carpet, floorboards, we see that all the time, slipping on a wet floor, uneven surfaces, uh, especially stairs and things like that, and then poor lighting. The main thing you have to know is that you're, you're not charged with the duty of, you know, let's say you, you, know, you have a party at five o'clock, you don't have to spend all day making sure everything is perfect. Um, but if there's something that you do know is there that could be dangerous, then absolutely you have a duty to either fix that problem or to warn the people about it. Um, we, um, we have a case right now where there was a broken step on the deck of someone's um, backyard and they knew it was broken and they forgot to tell uh, their, their, you know, all the, um, the partiers and their, their friends that there was a broken step. And sure enough, a, a lady goes down she misses, or that broken step, she, you know, she, she loses her footing, she falls, she uh, had horrible injuries, head injury and things of that nature. And so, yes, the homeowner is going to be on the, on the hook for that because they knew of a problem and yet they didn't do anything about it. So the, the bottom line is, if, you know, it's always a good, you know, it's a good thing to walk around, you know. And do a checklist. Just do, walk a, do, a, do a check, make sure there's nothing, you know, holes in the backyard that your dog may have dug up or things of that nature. But just look and see. But you don't have to spend all day doing it like a store does. But if you know of a problem, you have to do something about it.